Hey guys, TechieKHD here again with another video and today I'm going to be giving you guys the review of the official Nuance swipe keyboard for iOS 8. Now you can run this on any device running iOS 8 and it is available for 99 cents inside of the Apple App Store. Now I did literally just buy it and uh, now I have the review for you guys. I mean, I bought I literally just decided to make the review for you guys. Now I have been using it for eh, a couple hours now and I think it has been working uh, basically as intended or basically as Nuance could probably get it to work on an iPhone. Now, swipe, as you guys might know, is the popular keyboard that allows you to swipe from letter to letter. Now, Android has had this for a very long time. Um, so fanboys, please do restrict your comments. I completely understand and agree. I used to use this on my Nexus 4 and I used to love it. It was one of the things that made it very hard to switch back to iOS 8. Uh, but now that it is available, you can download it as an application from... Uh, the App Store, but unlike uh, all the other customization applications, you don't have, it's not restricted to inside the swipe application. You can actually use it system-wide. So what I'm going to do is here open up my notes application and show you guys this is what the keyboard looks like. It gets rid of the white and blue and switches it to a really nice white and orange. Again, it does really depend on your personal taste. Now you can press and hold this little button here to go back to the regular keyboard, switch to a T9 keyboard, which is uh, pretty interesting, or sorry, your number keyboard, not a T9. Um, and if you press and hold again, you can go over to your uh, settings here uh, and change up the, the settings uh, built into the keyboard. So, of course, I don't really want to do that right now, so I'm just going to hit backspace. Uh, now, of course, it does have the predictive text, which is very, very useful, just in case you guys are going to mess anything up. Uh, but here, let me just type out a little test message. Now, again, the way this works is dragging your finger from one letter to another, and as you guys can see, uh, there's a trail that follows so that you know what you're doing. Of course, I didn't really write anything there, so it says, please, please try again. So let me type out an actual sentence. So I'm going to type, hello, my name is Aditya. No, of course, uh, it was actually very easy, as you can see there. But if there's a word that you're typing that it does not understand, for example, if your name is... Um, I'm trying to think of a pretty difficult name to spell, but I'm not sure. Let's try... Okay, so I'm trying to spell Sophie, but S-O-P-H-I. Now, that is enlisted here, so when I hit space, it actually gives you the option to add Sophie to the dictionary, which I'm going to do because I know someone named Sophie with an I. Um... And basically, I mean, that is really it. Of course, you can tap words here, which is uh, high. Um, so, I mean, honestly, it's just kind of working off of uh, whatever it uh, has understood from my typing thus far. Uh, it's a really nice keyboard to use. I enjoy it. There's a quick type. Uh, there's a quick little tap button here to, again to switch to your separate characters or your special characters. Uh, as you guys can see, you can go straight from capital uh, letters here to small letters, uppercase or lowercase letters. Um, and if you press and hold on letters, of course, you have your different options available one of them or one of the features that i find really awesome is the fact that instead of having to go to your special characters and press and hold uh, or instead of having to switch to your special characters and tap you can actually uh, press and hold where the character officially was or originally is when you switch it and it's going to give you the option to type out that character but one of the things uh i mean it does still integrate all of your other uh different languages which is very interesting i think that this is uh, a well executed keyboard i think this is something that people are really going to enjoy using on their devices and since um, now, if you guys are using an iPhone uh, 5S or earlier or 5C, I think this is going to be really great for you because you can still one-hand it. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work on the iPhone 6 or the 6 Plus since I don't have them, but I do presume since people have been using them on larger screen Android phones for quite a while, and I did use it on my 4.7-inch Google Nexus 4 just fine in one hand, and I did really enjoy the experience. I can understand that on the iPhone 6 it would probably be uh, a similar experience. I'm not entirely sure about the 6 Plus because I haven't tested out on a Galaxy Note or a phone of that size uh, previously, but it really does depend on how it progresses and how people decide to use it. Overall, I'm a really big fan of this keyboard. I genuinely uh, do enjoy using it. I think it's probably uh, one of the nicest things uh, that Apple could have added. Um, in iOS 8, there's a lot of different features, but I think this is one of those revolutionary ones that is really going to allow you to customize your device uh, and really going to give developers uh, an extended freedom to be able to integrate their services and applications and overall probably build a better experience for you to use on your mobile device. So anyway, guys, that does about do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please do remember to leave the video a thumbs up by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And also for more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, 
tutorials, and much, much more, please do remember to subscribe. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.